All right, so I'm back at the house and I'm in my paint clothes, ready to go. So I spent the rest of the day after my appointment doing some running around. As you see, I had something to eat alone. And then I ended up at the cabin. We had someone there doing our screw piles. So that's pretty exciting. So I went and hung out there with Jeremy and Sam who were already there. And then it was the solar eclipse. So the three of us sat on the deck and watched that, which was super fun. And then by the time we got home, I was too tired, not painting, just done for the day. So new day, new wall. So I got to take these pictures down and then I got to start cutting in. Let's go. I think these white pictures are going to look so good with the dark wall. I think I'm just going to paint this with the paintbrush because it's a very small space. And I don't really want to try and get the roller in there and then accidentally roll the ceiling. I think it hit my smaller brush. I think maybe it was Carol who messed it, who mentioned um, she was worried with the paint fumes and I just want you to know don't worry because this paint has like little to no fumes. My sniffer is working overtime right now and I can barely smell anything when I get here painting. So that's a nice thing. So don't worry. I'm good. is a lot of the trim isn't put on properly and is like super loose so I can actually almost fit right in behind there nicely. I actually think what I'm gonna do after this wall is I'm gonna start rolling. I'm gonna roll this wall and that wall at the same time, just because the furniture is still in here. We haven't moved it out. Um, I don't know what really, really what we're doing because now that we have those screw piles in over at the cabin, we're hoping that we could move there sooner. So uh, maybe like in the next year or so, which would be nice. So I don't know if we really wanna buy all new furniture for this room, if we're just gonna leave in a year. So we may just paint it and not change the furniture. I'm not sure, it's up in the air, we're debating right now. So I'm kind of trying to make the best choice. But we are painting it. So like I said, I think I'll roll over these two walls and then I can push the furniture over here and do the next two walls. I used to always tape before I cut in, but now I find it takes equally as long to tape as it does to cut in, so I'll um, just do it without it and I do a decent job, so I don't mind. never use this long stick. Jeremy does. I don't like it. Feels so awkward. I feel like I'm making a mess. He wanted to do the rolling, but I really like painting, so <laughs> I'm doing it. I know the point of the stick is so you can go up and down the wall the whole way, but I literally can't. There's furniture here and stuff. I'm just using it to do the top and then I'm taking it off. I hate it. It's brutal. Okay, won't ever use that again. All right, we'll see why I don't use those. That's not actually why I don't like them, but now I like them even less. Literally sent paint flying all over the floor and the furniture. Is it 
crap. You gotta say, I do love this paint though. Love the color, love it. Looks so sharp with the white too. Yeah, the wall with the windows has two coats of paint on it now so I'm gonna start putting stuff back on I would love to find this in white but I have yet to find it so I'm gonna keep looking as soon as I do I will replace it but for now I'm just gonna put this one back on unfortunately because it's so dated looking Good. 